Hello, hello, dears, and welcome back to the channel Benidorm by Anna, where we give you a lot of interesting and useful information from Benidorm and surrounding area. Today is just glorious day back again in Benidorm. As you can see, it's sunny and it's getting nice and warm. However, this morning when I filmed the latest news update, which was approximately two hours ago, this is what happened. I hope you'll enjoy today's video. Hello, hello, dears, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are in Benidorm and it's raining quite a lot again. Look at this. It's even flooded right there at the beach. Wow. The weather is definitely not good today, but I decided we would come here to show you how desert the beach is looking like today. And also to let you know the latest news update. What's going on here in Spain and Benidorm's town. First of all, today is a great day because even though it's raining, the masks starting from today are not obligatory anymore, which means that in the inside parts of buildings, except the three cases that you know already, masks are not obligatory. This will be a huge change for all our region. And I just want to say that there was a survey made online on one of the newspapers, 20 minutes, and what they did say is that, oh, I need to search for undercover because it's raining really, really a lot. And what they were actually saying is that 46% of all the people who live here will stop using the masks if it's not going to be obligatory. Even at work, 46% said they won't be using them any longer. And oh my God, there is a true storm in here. Wow, it's getting ugly. We should definitely search some safe place to go because it's raining quite, quite a lot. Wow. So yeah, this is basically what will be happening. All the remaining amount of people are saying that they will keep using masks indoors if they feel that it's not safe to be without them. So we'll see what will be happening. It's gonna be quite strange and interesting at the same time to head to supermarkets and banks, you know, and shopping malls, because we here have a syndrome of an empty face, which means that if we were wearing masks for such, such a long time, for more than two years, it just feels kind of strange when you don't use any, you know? and it feels like you're lacking an essential piece of clothing. Wow, look at this, it's raining a lot. You can hear it, there's barely anyone right there. Oh my God. So this is basically the case, but we'll see. We will need to get used to it, but eventually we'll get back to normal once again. The rest of the restrictions and all the travel measures, they're all exactly the same. The forms are still obligatory for those traveling with a PCR test or antigen. Those who are vaccinated don't need to fill in the extra form, the Spanish travel form, in case they have the equivalent to the Spanish or European Union certificate. So it's all fine. Let me show you the beach and we'll be continuing with the second news. The second news is coming from Benidorm, from the old town. A lot of you were asking me what's happening with the Esmeralda Beach Hotel. It's been closed for a really, really long time. And afterwards, people have seen, those of you coming, that it started to be reformed. Look, there's just a few of people walking. I suppose some tourists as well, but it's like crazy weather. Look at this. Wow. So people were asking me what's happening with this hotel. What's up with that and when it will be opened back again. I have the answer finally for all this and it will not be Esmeralda Beach Hotel any longer. Surprise, surprise. This new hotel will not be Esmeralda 
Beach Hotel any longer. It would be Casual Pop Art Hotel. That is the part of a chain of casual hotels in Valencian community, which is where originally they are from. This hotel is under full and total reform right now. And shortly, more or less on the 3rd of June, you will be able to visit it once again. I have a few pictures here on the screen so you will be able to see how it will be looking like. And definitely if you are a lover of nice bright colors, if you love and enjoy these type of pop art hotels and vibrant lines, then this might be the ideal place for you to stay in Benidorm. And obviously, since it's located in the old town near the Doe Park, the beach areas, all the tapas streets, it's just perfect, perfect place. Originally, they wanted to open up for the All Saint Week, for Easter week. However, with all the lack of uh, materials, prime materials, with transport companies not being able to work, obviously, they needed to wait slightly longer. So in June, they're planning to open up. There's a lot of new hotels here in town. You know that there is Gold Arcos, which I'm still pending on going to film. We need to uh, confirm the day just yet. There is Mercury Hotel that I also want to show you, which is on the Poniente Beach. That's brand new. And this one right now, the Casual Pop Art. So these hotels are just popping up as mushrooms in Benidorm. But it's great because people will have way more options to choose from and find the ideal place for their holidays here in the area. The next news that I wanted to share with you all, and I'm going to show you the beach a little bit. You can barely see the Benidorm's Island right there. The next news is a sad news for us because it's the never-ending, let's say it like this, problem with primary medical health care here in Spain. You know that it's a problem that has been for a really, really long time, but right now it's getting worse and worse. A lot of people and a lot of doctors before, they used to work more than their pension age, uh, up until like 67, 68, 70, 70 something years perfectly. But right now, they are going for anticipated pensions, for anticipated retirement, better to say. Why it's the case? because the situation in the primary medicine here is really, really bad. There's lack of materials, lack of good working conditions. They attend more or less 60 to 70 patients a day, and a lot of them are without previous appointments or urgent patients, even though it's not an emergency. So it's just bad situation for all of them, which is why a lot of them take Baja, because they are not feeling well, you know, a lot of them get um, mental health illnesses, depressions, anxiety and stuff like this. And it's just not, not good. We're lacking more or less 600 specialists. However, the government has said that they can only provide right now approximately 300 of them, which is obviously not enough. The government is making the specific plan with which they will provide millions and millions of euros to improve this health system. However, a lot of the specialists, they are going abroad to work or they're heading, for example, to ER, to hospitals as they are, to SAMU, which is emergency um, ambulance that basically has the doctors inside, is going for traffic accidents and things like this, where you actually need doctors on spot. Ooh, wow, scary. So they're all going there because it's just not good enough. Primary health care here, here is not a good workplace for them anymore. Let me know how it is in your country. I know a lot of countries do have also social security, primary care and health assistance. So let us know how it's going on in your country. If conditions are also so bad that Less and less doctors are being left on the primary assistance and consultations and more of them are heading towards other areas where they can have better conditions and gain slightly more of a salary because they're doing a very, very important job for a lot of us. And obviously, let's talk about the weather because as you can see, 
the beach is flooded everything is gray there's barely anyone walking right here all the terraces and cafes they're empty because there's no one <laughs> and there's just a few like machines here and there going just a few people as well mostly tourists that just want to have last days here in Benidorm doesn't matter if it's raining or not this weather did not surprise us although we did not think it's going to be up until this point what we thought will be happening is that it's just going to be raining a little bit then it will stop will be just cloudy and that's it but look at this it's a lot of rain in a really really short amount of time which is why wow i hope you've seen that which is why it's quite empty in here today there are a few lifeguards on the beach but not more than that in general this weather will be here only today starting from tomorrow it will be perfect back again as nothing ever happened which is what surprised me the most you know it's today it's really really bad but tomorrow it's gonna be sunny back again starting from morning time so it's not as bad as it might seem look there is the tiki right here some music is going on inside people are heading in but the terrace is closed Kaiman is the same absolutely the same you can sit down on the terrace but since it's cold they opened up mostly the interior part of it after today the weather will be great there will be a lot of sunshine back again so don't worry if you're coming this is not for a long time will be sunny for about a week starting from now and it should not be raining anymore fingers crossed the temperatures um, obviously today it's slightly cooler as I've told you the previous days it will be around 15 16 degrees I would say right now you can still walk with an umbrella it's still nice to explore you know it's not that you have to be close somewhere at the bar or at the hotel sitting without doing anything you can still explore it's fine there is no wind at all zero so you can do so if you're not afraid of the rain there's a police patrol here just in case to see if everything is okay if no one is going swimming etc the temperatures in the rest parts in Alicante will be around 18 degrees today Barcelona 18 Granada 13 Malaga 19 Sevilla 22 Madrid 12 Murcia 18 Balearic Islands 19 Canary in between 20 and 21 and Valencia 16 degrees today by the way the water temperature I'll I'll start doing it again I did not know that people were noticing it so much but previously last year or during summer season I was giving you water temperature in different areas in here I stopped for winter because obviously no one is swimming but some people asked me if I could do it back again since the summer season has started and obviously I can why not totally forgot about that to be honest but we can do so so the water temperature today is around 16 degrees here in Benidorm and Alicante. The temperatures the next following days, since it's not going to be raining, will be back to normal around 22 to 24 degrees, sometimes even more on the sunshine. This was it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching our latest news update from Spain and Benidorm and even though it's raining you got to see a tiny piece of what happens when it's raining so so much on Benidorm's Levante beach and how many people there actually are right now on the streets which is basically almost no one except for myself I wish you a lovely lovely day of today and I'll see you tomorrow with a new interesting video from Benidorm the official tour down the great Grand Bali hotel here in Benidorm don't miss that one bye